I'm so excited to chat with you, Kelty, because super fan. I watched it last week and it was so much fun. Gloria, I think, was really appreciative and all the fans really got into the show. How did the concept of this come to you or how did it approach you? I love it. Um, thanks for having me, by the way. So super fan started as an idea I had in 2013. Um, I had just recently been hired by CBS. I was hosting a, one of the first digital shows on their cbs.com new platform. And I called it fangirl. And I basically ran around Los Angeles fangirling over <clears throat> all these musical artists. So I did everything from Patrick Stump at the whiskey to Ed Sheeran in one of his first, um, ever U.S. performances before he was even famous to, you know, Sarah Bareilles to Janet Jackson at the Greek theater. I mean, I went and really fangirled over anyone, um, whether I could get an interview with them, with them or just as a concert review. So it really started then. Um, and I had this idea at the time because I was such a fangirl. I have no musical talent that there needed to be a competition for the fans that it would be it was kind of amazing what was happening on, you know, dare I say MySpace and Tumblr at the time, how fans would know more about the artists than um, even the artists themselves would know about their careers or how these little fan communities were popping up and in the early stages of sort of the internet. And it was just so special. And so I created the show. I actually registered uh, a version of Superfan with the Writers Guild and Directors Guild in 2013, which is crazy. It's 10 years later now. Um, and then over the years, I, I really worked on it. I married a music manager. I, I figured out what was going to work. I looked at what other game shows were doing for games and came up with the ideas. Um, and then I was hosting the Grammys in 2018, and uh, the Grammy red carpet. And I turned to my boss at the time, I was like, we got to do this more. This is the best day of my life. I need more Grammys in my life. And um, and I was like, how can we do more music shows? And I pitched her sort of the idea for Superfan. I was like, this is this is what I want. And we started working on it then um, and brought it to the network. And I'm just so thrilled and excited that they saw something in it, that they wanted to make it um, and could not be happier with the way people are connecting with the show. I mean, there's so many wonderful artists involved from Pitbull to Little Big Town, Shania Twain, Gloria Stefan, LL Cool J. How did you get all of these wonderful artists on board? Yeah, I mean, it's it's we're so lucky, right? We have the coolest artists. Um, listen, I think it's a mix of a couple of things. CBS has the Grammy Awards on their on their network um, and Jack Sussman, my boss. Um, who will hate that I'm naming him. He's like shy with this kind of stuff, but he's, you know, he's worked and produced the Grammys and a lot of the music programming and a lot of the big television specials. He was, you know, one of the driving forces between that big Adele special that was on CBS that was so amazing that everyone watched. And so he's very well respected. Um, my partner, Jody Roth, has was at CBS as an SVP for 20 years and worked on a lot of those specials as well. So when you get a phone call from them, I think the managers and the, the people involved in those stars know that it's going to be a really high quality situation. Um, and then they would get on a Zoom with me and I would just do what I'm doing now, which I would just fangirl and be like, the fans, they need you. Um, and so oh, that's that's kind of how it worked out. Well, I think it's so much fun and I'm really seeing so much great interaction. Was that initially what you were interested in doing is having people on social media vote for their favorite fan? Yeah, it was really important to me when I was coming up with this show to make a show that did not need any talent. You know, I've been an entertainment journalist for over a decade here in Hollywood, and I've covered every red carpet there is from Dancing with the Stars to The Voice to America's Got Talent. And it's awesome if you have a talent that you can showcase. But for me, being a, the fangirl, the original fangirl, I just felt so much like I, I wanted there to be a show where you didn't have to sing and you didn't have to dance. It was just your love of the star. And so it was also really important to me that you know, America voted. I didn't want just the studio audience on little tablets or whatever that is. Like I didn't want 
I wanted to be open to all of America. I didn't want the star to have to pick. I didn't want a panel of judges or something like that because every show does that. So I was like, well, who's going to vote? It's the other fans. The other fans watching have to vote. And so it's been really cool to see the interaction on social media. We've trended every single week that we've been out on Twitter, which is amazing and couldn't be happier. So I have to ask, is there a talk yet for season two of this great super series? Oh, you're so sweet. I, um, I have planned out season two, like beyond a, a doubt. Like I know exactly who I want, what I want to change about the show, what I want to keep about the show. I know what I want to wear when I'm hosting the show. Um, but we, you know, we're just, our fingers are crossed for season two. I think it's a little early to, to hear anything quite yet. Um, we're only halfway through the series. So we, we really have to, to keep pushing and keep letting people know about the show. It is very difficult to make a primetime series and really break the internet and break into the pop culture zeitgeist so um thank you for your support and just getting the word out and having inviting everyone to watch the show on on wednesday nights at 9 p.m on cbs is there a favorite episode that you've filmed so far the gloria one might have been a great because i saw you doing the conga uh i <laughs> Well, it's so funny because everyone watching, they're like, we know that Kelty's like let being her most Kelty during the part where I'm not actually hosting the show, where I'm just like dancing around because I'm just like having the time of my life. I was just trying to stay in the moment. I know I've been in Hollywood long enough to know these kinds of moments are far and fleeting. And I just... I really was so jazzed at the energy in the room and, and it comes across on the show. It's just so special. You know, our, one of the main questions we had about the show was you know, are people going to tune in if they're not a Pitbull fan, if they're not a Gloria Stefan fan, if they're not a Shania Twain fan, would they watch? And I think you would agree with me that, of course, it's about these huge stars and their songs and everyone knows the song. So no big deal. But it really becomes about these fans and the fan stories and you get rooting and you're like, oh, I really want Raphael or I want Derek or whoever I want to win. And you get really involved in that. And so um, I, 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 I have a favorite moment from each show. I have to tell you, we have our Pitbull episode coming up. Um, and it's it was the first episode that we filmed. So I was so nervous and it's fire. It's so good. He's so amazing and funny and doing his Pitbullisms. And he brought his backup dancers for the performance and his fans are nuts. So, um, but, you know, and we're finishing the season off with Kelsey Ballerini, who is just having the ride of her life right now. And um, we actually had her do like kind of a charades game. So she's acting out the clues and it is hilarious to watch this beautiful Barbie like girl be like goo, 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 like acting so silly so those moments are coming up and I'm really excited for people to see them what kind of response have you personally been receiving from the fans to super fan I think this is what matters the most to me to be honest with you um the amount of dms that I've gotten from people that were not only on the show at the taping of the show or watching the show from home about how they feel so seen and how they feel like we've given the fans a place to come together. And then the amount of DMs I've gotten about who they want on next season and to call them like, Hey, when you have Jonas brothers, call me cause I'll win. And I think that's a real telltale sign of like a really um, cool idea that people are latching onto because they're like, Oh, well, I wouldn't win the Shania episode, but I would definitely win the Joe bros episode. So that's been really exciting. But listen, I, I think again, going back to them, not having a talent, like, it's very timely in this moment that fan bases, whether it's Beyonce or Taylor Swift, like our support and us getting our outfits ready to go to the show. And, you know, life is really difficult right now. There's, there's a recession. There's a lot going on that is very hard and is AI or the aliens coming. Like there's just a lot of really serious stuff. And so to be able to like be involved in a community, enjoy a show like that, it really is a feel good show um, has meant the world. I have to ask, is there an episode of Superfan that you would win? I really thought I could win the Shania Twain episode. Um, I grew up in Canada. I'm a huge Shania Twain fan, which I think people saw when they watched it. If you haven't watched, you can go watch on Paramount Plus right now. Um, but I, no spoilers, but I really felt like I could win that episode based on the music. Like I passed the music right away. Um, but when we got to our second game, Super Sight, where there's a, a blurry photo of her iconic moment 
clients and they come into focus um, over time and you have to buzz in and guess what they are. That's when I would have been kicked out for sure. I mean, these guys were buzzing in and they were looking at a blob of nothing and they were like, it's you at the Grammy Awards and gah, gah, gah. I was like, what is happening? This is bananas. I've, I created the games and I made the games too difficult for myself to win so um but we really need to test these super fans so i mean i wouldn't have won but i definitely would have entered i know the gloria she, she, even gloria was surprised at how people figured out her music her pictures all these different things it was incredibly fascinating to just little snippets of everything just gave it away to them but, you know, per people who aren't a fan, you're still blown away by the fact that people are able yeah. to guess. It was just incredibly fascinating and so much fun to watch. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yeah, it's 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 a cool, it's a really cool show. And I, I think that's, you know, one of the things that has made the show really special is watching the stars be sort of got smacked about the whole thing is you know you don't realize these this level superstar they can't really get that close to their fans right like you may go to a, do a meet and greet and you get your picture hi how are you it's your birthday happy birthday take your picture and you're done right but like actually standing on stage for an entire hour and watching the fans go through the levels of competition and the game play um you know the stars are really taken aback and it's kind of fun to watch them freak out when they don't know the answer to a question about themselves <laughs> 